It's a fascinating irony that within the intricate design of animal anatomy lies the potential for danger, even death. In the heart of the wilderness, where survival is a daily battle, animals often face perilous situations, some of which arise from their own bodies. Whether through inherent traits or behavioral quirks, these creatures navigate a fine line between existence and demise. Join us as we explore 20 animal body parts that can kill them. Number 20. Elephant Body Heat Elephants, despite living in warm climates, cannot sweat efficiently to cool down like humans do. Instead, they have developed several strategies to cope with the heat, such as flapping their ears and coating themselves in mud. However, the lack of effective sweating leaves them vulnerable to heat-related issues. With global warming causing temperatures to rise, elephants face an increased risk of suffering from heat stroke. Even though elephants have natural mechanisms to release heat, such as dilating blood vessels in their ears, they are still susceptible to heat stroke, particularly during extreme heat waves. In places like Myanmar, heat stroke has become a major cause of death among elephants. Their inability to regulate body temperature effectively puts them in perilous situations. To counteract the effects of heat stroke, elephants seek out water sources for bathing and roll in mud to cool off. However, with decreasing rainfall and drying watering holes due to climate change, elephants may struggle to find adequate cooling spots. The combination of habitat loss and their inability to sweat properly may lead to a decline in elephant populations. Number 19. Razor Tails When you first see a stingray gliding through the ocean, it might seem peaceful. But if you look closer at its tail, you'll find a dangerous weapon. The stingray's tail is like a whip, with venomous barbed spines. These spines contain strong toxins that cause a lot of pain. They're not just sharp, they can also get stuck in the skin, injecting venom and leading to infections. Even experienced surfers have been hurt by stingray stings. What's interesting is that stingrays can hurt themselves with their own tails. They give birth to live babies, similar to humans. But to protect themselves from their own sharp tails, Stingray babies have a special covering called tail caps. These caps prevent the mother from getting hurt inside her womb. If a baby stingray loses its tail cap too soon, it can cause a lot of pain and damage to the mother, almost like if human babies had razor blades while still inside the womb. Childbirth is already tough. Imagine dealing with that extra danger. Number 18. Shocking Electric Eel Renowned for their electrifying abilities, electric eels stand out as one of the few creatures endowed with a real-life superpower. However, this power can have shocking consequences for themselves. Contrary to their name, electric eels aren't true eels, but rather a type of knife fish, which, if you think about it, could lead to some interesting cases of catfishing. Yet, they typically inhabit the murky streams of the Amazon basin in South America where they utilize their electric sparks to hunt and incapacitate prey. The astonishing electrical prowess of electric eels stems from approximately 6,000 specialized cells known as electrolytes within their slender bodies, functioning akin to tiny batteries. In moments of threat or while hunting, these creatures can unleash a discharge of up to 800 volts, far exceeding the standard mains voltage of 120 volts in the U.S. However, this remarkable ability comes with a deadly risk for the eels themselves. A powerful electric current passing through their heart or brain would instantly prove fatal, given that their organs are condensed near their head, with the rest of their elongated body resembling a battery-like tail. During the charging process, electric eels adopt a specific posture, straightening into a rigid rod before assuming a U-shape, with their head slightly ahead of their tail. This positioning minimizes the risk of the electric current inadvertently passing through their vital organs. Yet, miscalculations can occur, especially when the eels are stressed or threatened by predators, resulting in fatal errors. However, it's a mistake they'll make only once, as handling high voltages leaves no room for second chances. Number 17. Sheep Wool Sheep have long been companions to humans, valued for their thick wool coats which serve myriad purposes. However, this symbiotic relationship comes at a cost for the sheep themselves. While their dense wool is a blessing in winter, providing warmth and insulation, 
it quickly becomes burdensome and uncomfortable in the heat of summer. Unlike their wild ancestors, modern sheep have lost the natural ability to shed their wool, necessitating regular shearing by humans. Failure to shear sheep regularly can lead to significant deterioration in their quality of life. The accumulated wool becomes a breeding ground for bacteria and parasites, increasing the risk of serious infections. Moreover, the weight of the overgrown wool layer hampers the sheep's mobility, restricting their movement and causing discomfort. Interestingly, wool also plays a role in regulating sheep's body temperature, highlighting its importance in their overall well-being. While some wild sheep species retain the ability to shed their hair naturally, domesticated sheep rely on human intervention for shearing. This process, performed once a year ideally in late spring, is crucial for ensuring the sheep's comfort and health throughout the changing seasons. Fortunately, shearing is a painless procedure for the sheep, akin to getting a haircut for humans. Skilled professionals utilize specialized equipment such as shearing machines or clippers, ensuring a steady hand and a calm environment to minimize stress for the animals. By providing this essential care, humans help ensure the welfare of sheep while also harvesting valuable wool resources. Number 16. Snake Autocannibalism Cannibalism isn't just a human or interspecies affair. Snakes have their own twist on the concept called autocannibalism. Despite their notorious predatory reputation, snakes occasionally turn on themselves, quite literally. Snakes, notorious predators of small animals and birds, sometimes exhibit the bizarre behavior of attacking and devouring their own tails. Unlike mythical creatures seeking renewal, this act stems from the snake's inherent nature. Being cold-blooded, snakes can't regulate their body temperature like most creatures. When overheated, they become disoriented and confused, leading to an accelerated metabolism and false hunger pangs. In captivity, where they often dwell alone, the first thing they see may be their own tail, mistaken for prey, triggering self-cannibalistic tendencies. Another factor contributing to this behavior is their impaired vision during shedding, mistaking their tail for food. If you catch your pet snake engaged in self-cannibalism, immediately turn off heat sources to cool them down. Sometimes they release their tails once cooled, but often a vet visit becomes necessary. Snakes' instinct to ensnare and ingest prey complicates matters, making it challenging for them to cease the act once initiated. Number 15. Tarsier. It's not just humans who grapple with the thought of ending their own lives amid the stresses and traumas of existence. Animals, too, find themselves facing such struggles. Meet the Tarsier, a nocturnal creature renowned for its introverted and shy nature, to an extent where even the slightest human interaction can drive them to drastic measures. Encountering a Tarsier is an experience that halts you in your tracks, thanks to their distinctive bug eyes, among the most unique in the animal kingdom. These creatures are hypersensitive to bright lights and sudden noises, and a mere brush with a human, a camera flash, or any form of handling can trigger intense anxiety in these petite, leaping primates. When overwhelmed, Tarsiers resort to banging their delicate heads against hard surfaces, often resulting in fatal skull fractures due to the thinness of their craniums. Captivity offers no respite. Confined to cages, they quickly succumb to anxiety, resorting to the same self-destructive behavior. These endearing creatures draw attention from animal enthusiasts, particularly in Southeast Asia, including the Philippines, where tourists flock to observe them. However, strict guidelines are in place to safeguard the Tarsier's well-being. Visitors are instructed not to approach too closely, avoid using camera flashes, minimize noise levels, and crucially, refrain from touching them under any circumstances. As emphasized by Filipino conservationists, such as the Tarsier Man, physical contact spells death for these delicate beings. Given that the 13 Tarsier species already face the looming threat of extinction, respecting their boundaries becomes paramount. In their case, embracing the comfort of their natural habitat may well be the key to their survival. Number 14. Snake Venom Snakes have earned a notorious reputation for their potent venoms, typically delivered via their fangs during a bite. However, some species have developed an alternative method, spitting or ejecting venom, primarily for defensive purposes against potential threats. 
When a snake spits venom, it originates from the reptile's salivary glands. But what if the snake accidentally ingests its own venom? Surprisingly, nothing much happens. The primary component of venom is protein, and for it to affect another animal's body, it must be injected directly into the bloodstream or muscle. Ingesting venom simply sends it to the snake's stomach, where stomach acid breaks it down harmlessly. However, if the venom somehow enters the snake's bloodstream or muscle, such as through self-biting during auto-cannibalism, as seen earlier, it can lead to severe complications. This highlights how a snake's own venom can pose a deadly threat when introduced into its own body. Number 13. Blue Whale Tongue A blue whale boasts a tongue weighing approximately 5,000 pounds or 2,268 kilograms, packed with protein, a tempting treat for orcas, also known as killer whales. These apex predators have been observed hunting down blue whales and indulging in their flesh, with the tongue being a favored target. During attacks on blue whales, orcas often surround their massive prey, launching coordinated assaults. One strategy involves an orca inserting its head into the blue whale's mouth, exploiting its vulnerable state to clamp down on the tongue. While crucial for proper feeding, a blue whale's tongue becomes its perilous downfall when targeted by a pod of hungry orcas. Number 12. Feathers and Furs Feathers and fur usually keep birds and animals safe, but sometimes they can cause problems. For hens and chickens, a common issue is blood feathers. This happens when new feathers grow with blood flowing underneath the skin. In chicken coops, cannibalism can be a problem. This is when birds peck at and eat each other's skin or organs. If a chicken is pecked before its new feathers are ready, it can bleed a lot and even die. Cannibalism happens in different types of chicken housing, like cages, floor pens, aviaries, and free-range areas. It gets worse when it's hot because chickens get uncomfortable and peck more. Another problem with feathers is when predators attack chickens. Animals like foxes, dogs, and cats often pull feathers out when they hunt. This can leave a mess behind and cause a lot of pain for the chicken. Number 11. Rollover Risk Tortoises are renowned for their protective shells, which encase their bodies like impenetrable armor. These shells, comprised of fused ribs and backbones, are the very reason for their ponderous, sluggish movements. While the shell serves as a formidable defense mechanism against threats, it also presents a peculiar challenge, the risk of toppling over. Observing a tortoise struggling on its back might evoke a chuckle, but in the wild, it spells potential disaster. A stranded tortoise, immobilized by its own shell, faces grave peril. Without the ability to right itself, the tortoise becomes a sitting target, vulnerable to predators and succumbing to the harsh elements. Deprived of sustenance and shelter from the scorching sun, it teeters on the brink of dehydration and demise. Remarkably, fellow tortoises often intervene, nudging and bumping their overturned comrade in a bid to restore its upright position. This altruistic behavior underscores their instinctive recognition of the danger posed by being immobilized. However, nature's whims extend even to the tortoise community, as males engage in spirited sparring matches during mating season. In a bizarre twist, these duels involve attempts to flip opponents onto their backs, a surprising turn of events where a simple roll of the shell becomes the ultimate knockout move. Number 10. Animal Crossing Throughout history, humans have tinkered with dog breeds, from pugs to bulldogs, selectively breeding them for specific adorable features like short limbs, big eyes, and small jaws. However, this manipulation of nature can yield unintended consequences, particularly in terms of health issues for certain breeds. Take, for instance, the issue of overlapping teeth in some breeds, which increases the likelihood of tooth decay and gum disease. Additionally, the heavy skin folds on the face of breeds like pugs and bulldogs can lead to conditions such as cherry eye and eye ulcers, sometimes necessitating the removal of the affected eye. The most significant challenges, however, are faced by breeds with flat faces and short snouts. These dogs often struggle with eating, swallowing, and breathing properly due to their anatomical features. Many require caesarean section deliveries due to the disproportionately large size of their heads compared to their birth canals, with natural births often resulting in painful deaths for both mother and pups. 
Moreover, dogs with compressed skulls, like English and French bulldogs, are prone to neurological issues and respiratory problems due to their narrow airways, leading to conditions such as brachycephalic syndrome. Consequently, caring for these breeds entails significant financial expenses, and they typically have shorter lifespans than other dogs. Animal activists and veterinarians have raised concerns about the ethics of breeding these designer dogs solely for profit, knowing the health complications they may face. They advocate against purchasing such breeds to combat animal cruelty and encourage responsible breeding practices. Number 9. Honeybees Stings Honeybee stings evoke nightmares for most people due to the excruciating pain they inflict. Yet stinging is also a perilous act for the bees themselves, Bees typically sting when they perceive a threat to their hive, and rarely do so unless provoked by accidental encounters like stepping on them. The reason behind bees' reluctance to sting lies in the fatal consequences it brings upon them. A bee's stinger comprises two barbed lancets that, once embedded in a victim, cannot be withdrawn. Consequently, the bee leaves behind not only its stinger, but also part of its digestive tract, including muscles and nerves. This grievous injury to the abdomen leads to the bee's demise shortly after. Despite this sacrifice, bees utilize their stingers strategically. Once lodged in the victim's skin, the stinger continues to release venom for several minutes. Nerve cells coordinate the movement of the embedded stinger, allowing it to delve deeper, while muscular valves pump toxins from the venom sac into the wound, prolonging the pain. Contrary to popular belief, Immediate removal of the stinger is crucial to minimize pain and damage. Although the loss of a bee's life may seem tragic, it serves an evolutionary purpose. Worker bees, which do not reproduce, safeguard the hive and reproductive bees to ensure the continuation of their genetic lineage, even at the cost of their lives. Number 8. Kamikaze Ants Colobopsis explodens, appropriately named ants indigenous to the jungles of Southeast Asia, exhibit fascinating behavior. Like their counterparts in the ant kingdom, these ants are organized under the leadership of worker ants, tasked with foraging and maintaining their nest. However, when faced with aggression from rival ant species, these dedicated worker ants display an extraordinary act of self-sacrifice culminating in a spectacular explosion. These ants possess poison-filled glands spanning their entire body length. In times of dire combat, the worker ant forcefully contracts its abdominal muscles, rupturing these glands and resulting in instant demise. Yet this ultimate sacrifice serves a purpose. The explosion releases a sticky secretion, enveloping and immobilizing nearby insects with a corrosive chemical glue, which incidentally emits a pungent odor reminiscent of spicy curry. Far from a culinary delight, this glue acts as a potent deterrent against future attacks, warning potential predators of the colony's formidable defenses. Remarkably, a similar kamikaze defense mechanism is employed by Globitermis sulfurius, a species of termite found in Vietnam. A portion of their colonies consists of soldier termites equipped with poison-filled glands. When faced with invasion, these soldiers engage in combat, but their last resort is their most lethal. By rapidly contracting their mandibular muscles, they compress their poison sac glands, expelling a viscous yellow liquid that hardens upon contact with air, ensnaring adversaries in a lethal embrace alongside the sacrificing soldier termite. Number 7. Cannibal Kids Sometimes the greatest threat to an animal comes not from external dangers, but from the very substances their bodies produce. Case in point, the birthing ritual of African social spiders. During their breeding season, female spiders